Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to block access to the WordPress debug log. So what happens is from time to time, a plugin or a theme doesn't work properly or starts producing errors or notices and, or even crashes your site. And sometimes you have you or you have to hire somebody, not a developer, for example, to troubleshoot the site. And what they would do first, they would go and add this line of code. That's a PHP constant, which when added to the WordPress config file, it's going to instruct WordPress to start outputting errors and putting them in the debug log file, which resides in the WP content folder, which is usually accessible from the browser. Like I noticed that some hosting companies block access to that file, but you have to check it if your hosting company supports that. On our hosting solutions, we, we block that. Why is it important to block the access to that specific file? It's because sometimes with the debugging information, some sensitive information could get output. For example, this could be the database credentials or some global variables, some API keys. Those keys could be to a payment gateway or to a service such as MailChimp or Mailgun, and people could use your services or the services that you have subscribed to to send emails and to spam people. Sometimes also, I've noticed that clients, they, as a convenience, they add additional programs to manage the database such as Adminer or phpMyAdmin. And there have been scanners like we notice in our log files where people would scan and see if those files are accessible. So the problem would compo compound, let's say the person is able to access the debug log file. And also if, that, if you have that Adminer script on your hosting that's accessible, and people can get access to the database. And when they get access to the database, they could steal your client's information, their order information, and they could even pretend that the email is coming from you and they could, I don't know, maybe steal some more information from them or do some bad stuff. So it's super important to protect those files. And we've added this solution, which not only blocks the log files, but also SQL files. Because sometimes developers, when they have to migrate a web, uh, WordPress site, they have to export a database. So it's up to date. So they're working with the data that's very up to date. And we're using the same, those two rules, actually that line here, that block of code to block access to the log files and SQL files. If you also have other sensitive files or you have to if you have recommendations, let us know if we should also block other extensions. And we've also added the, this section here, which is a compressed version of the files. Because log files can get really big and they could be compressed to save some space. So in this line, we're saying we want to block access to log files but they could also be compressed. So this is the regular expression and the dollar sign instructs that we're caring only about files that end in those kind of extensions. We don't want to block files that start with dot log or something like that, or contain that kind of text. We want to block specific extensions. And here the question mark is telling us that this block or this section is optional. So it could be there or it doesn't have to be there. And after you add that, you can add, actually you have to add it to either your HD access file or if you have access to the Apache config folder, you can create this file and it's going to apply globally, which is ideal. So you don't have to add that the same line to every single WordPress site that you host. And 
when you add that, it's good to test the Apache configuration just to make sure that things are happy with Apache and then reload it. I recommend this because it's a graceful restart and doesn't interrupt the current people that are on the site. And there's another solution which is also nice. Basically, WordPress allows you to use the exact location or file name of that log file. If, you, if we scroll up, you'll notice that it's a Boolean value. It could be true or false, but it's nice that the WordPress core developers have thought about allowing that you can specify a file. That way you have the choice to put that file in a folder that's not accessible from the web. So it's outside of the document root. We have to make sure that folder is accessible, of course, and the server is able to write to that folder. And that's how you protect that debug log file from direct access. If you want to share something or if you have something, some more ideas or how we can improve this article, let us know. Make a, make a comment you know, below the video or here on our QSandbox blog. That would be great. And hey, if you need WordPress, check out QSandbox.com and start developing a new version of your site. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye.